I'm Kelsey Roth. I'm with Craft Beer Cellar. I'm a certified Cicerone, which is uh, similar to a sommelier, uh, except for beer. And I'm the brand manager over at Craft Beer Cellar. Today I'm here with Jennifer Barrel um, at Barrel Farms. Uh, we're here in their awesome production kitchen um, where they make all the delicious pies and everything else. Um, but uh, we've been asked to pair a beer with uh, a beef tenderloin au jus served with steamed broccoli and cauliflower florets. Um, and I immediately think, you know, uh, beef tenderloin au jus, this is going to be a, a rich dish, uh, lots of kind of uh, uh, kind of roasty flavors. Um, you know, the steamed broccoli and cauliflower are going to have some nice vegetable character. Um, and uh, I'm going to want a beer, in this case, I want to pick a beer that's going to match that. So, intense flavors first, um, you know, from on the food side, so I want a beer that kind of can match that intensity. Um, and then I want to, I'm looking to match those roasty kind of characters. So I went with a, a, a porter, and this is a dark beer. Um, uh, it came about, um, you know, I'd say it got its name in about 1840s in London, when um, a, a lot of the, uh, uh, brewers in London started brewing this style of beer for the dock workers and the porters after they got off shift would come and flood into the taverns and pubs and they would drink a bunch of this beer and eventually it's called the porter because of the porters who would drink a lot of it. Um, but uh, this style originated before stout. A lot of people think uh, stout's going to be the you know, uh, you know, the original one. But this came about before stout. Stout originally was stout porter. Um, so it was just a heavier porter. Um, so so porter, stout's heavier? Um, it, it started off that way. Now if you think of like a Guinness, uh, Guinness is actually lower in alcohol than most porters. Uh, Guinness is only about 4.2%. Uh, so that's a fairly light stout. Yeah. Um, so it's changed over the years, but originally it meant the heavier, the heavier porter. Um, but this porter is brewed by Mayflower Brewing Company. They are located right here in Massachusetts over in Plymouth. Um, and they started off doing some really great classic English styles, and this is one of them that they still brew. Um, and this beer has some really great roasty character to it. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice dark, rich color there, um, almost completely opaque. And I can tell one thing right off the bat, um, you know, there's going to be some nice richness to this because the head itself is even a little bit, you know, it's got a little yeah. tan color to it. Um, but I can't see through that at all. Um, and so it's, you know, a fairly dark color. And when I stick my nose in there, I'm getting some really nice kind of uh, fresh roasted coffee bean, um, almost like espresso bean, some, you know, dark baker's chocolate. Um, and almost a, a little bit of smoke, or even a little tobacco. Yeah. You get the tobacco. And kind of similar flavors, yeah. Similar flavors on 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 the sip as well. Um, you know, it, it lingers a little bit. It's got some nice bitterness there that's going to help um, kind of cut the richness of the that. Uh, beef tenderloin, and these roasted flavors are just going to match that that dish really nicely. Just kind of match it in intensity. You can get the coffee taste more when you're when you're drinking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if somebody you know if somebody is not a fan of coffee, I usually don't steer them towards this kind of beer because they mm -hmm. naturally have <laughs> yeah. And uh, an interesting thing is that um, a lot of uh, stouts and porters will use what's called patent malt, which um, instead of uh, doing a traditional kilning of, of the barley, they actually use a similar uh, device as you use to roast coffee. Um, so it creates a nice dark roast without charring, um, but it gives you that nice kind of coffee flavor, uh, dark chocolate flavor. Um, but it's not an overly powerful beer. You know, um, I don't feel that it's like heavy on the mouth feel. No, it it's got some nice lightness to it, which is, just makes it a great food beer as well. But this could also go really nicely with some of your pies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Um, so this is Mayflower Porter. Um, we're pairing it with the beef tenderloin au jus. And uh, I recommend that you try it as well. A great local brewery in Mayflower. And um, my name is Kelsey. I'm a craft beer seller and we're a proud supporter of the Chef's Table Friend.